I've got a hole in my glove. <laughs> There's lots of holes. Didn't realise the holes were that big until my thumb stuck through it. My watch strap on a bit tighter today to keep that connection going. I think it was my loose watch strap wasn't sending the signal to the, the phone all the time, it was like cutting out. So, yeah, it's on a, a hold tighter now. See where we are on this under 10 kilometers. I'm in the uh, it says mode four here, but essentially it's like the middle mode, so not eco but not turbo. You can zoom in on areas if you wanted to. This is the map, you can see the blue line is the river Taff. And I'm following the Taft Trail there. On this ride, I'd just be spinning the legs. Hence being in like the level two and going for zone two. So keeping the heart rate at manageable levels. So I'm not gasping, I can talk while I'm riding. And in rush hour traffic, it's not great. I'm going to stick with this. Ooh. Definitely windier today and a bit wetter. So that breeze is actually quite welcome. So yeah, we're on the tap trail now, having a nice spin.
lovely section of gravel. But we will be getting onto the climb. Just after this rise here, we've got a juicy climb to do. Let's get up the climb. I'm not going to eat all of it, that's a tiffin. Mm. 350 calories so far on this ride. That tiffin, square, I think I'll just put that back on. That's my problem. I just can't, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you give up eating cakes and sweets? Because it, to me, it's just it's just instant energy. I've been a bit oh, after work as well. You know, just like oh. and then you have a tip in, and all is well in the world again. You'll know, reason with yourself why you should eat the remaining three. You know, be ashamed to waste them. I'm, you know, I'm going to be doing a big ride tomorrow. I think what I tend to do is, if I'm on my own, I've got that one Florentine down and I've got three to go. I do tend to wrap up two and stuff them in my bag for the next day's ride. Um, and then I'll have the second one before I go to bed. Just to remind myself how amazing they taste. But yeah, I don't have any issues with almonds. I think they're probably coated in like a honey or something. Never thought about that. I think it's got to be honey, isn't it? Surely a Florentine is coated in honey. Almonds and honey. I was eating almonds from a very young age. My father used to he used to cook us trout and he'd put sliced almonds and then put under the grill so the almonds would catch a little bit and the skin would go crispy. And I know like trout isn't everyone's favourite fish. <laughs> it, it does have, but I was eating it when I was a kid. And um, you know, it, it does have an earthy taste. There's no getting away from it. I'm not sure whose dog that was behind, running out there. Ah, that's all right. No, 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 I could see it coming. I'll see him or her coming out. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> see what's on the ground because it is not only steep but it's chunky as well but I said I oh crumbs I said I try the drops this time didn't I oh my goodness <sighs> oh I'm fighting there <sighs> okay yeah oh there's all rocks and bits of chunks of wood on the path here. Oh, I tell you what, it's very, it does feel like you're tipping over the bars. I've got to say, getting into the drops when it's so steep and gnarly like this, I really just want to get in the hoods. But I'm on this bit now where it starts to ease off a bit. But I still want to get in the, in the hoods, so I'm going to stay here. Oh, it's steep again. Right. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, that's the only thing, these leaves are hiding little logs and that, which if you get your wheel over them, you could end up a proper, oh, come on. Let's concentrate. Oh, that was muddy and sketchy. You can see why sight across would be so much fun. <laughs> Have I entered a sight across race yet? No. Nah. I, I'm, the fact that I'm questioning it is like, you know. I just don't think I'd have the fitness. My fault. But if it was like a smaller one, like one that it wasn't so serious, I don't know. I think I'd have to have a look at it. Distance. Oh, come. And I'd have to check out, like, mind you, you could enter and just come last, can you? Do a DNF. You could try it, experience it. I might, you know, I might have a look tonight, actually. Just to experience one. Because, you know, if it's not for you, then at least you better go, isn't it? I mean, a DNF is it better than a DNT, did not try. <laughs> not always. <laughs> not always. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to slide across. But it's that, it's that steepness and no, oh, quite you knowing the, the right skills to deal with steep and gnarly. Oh, that's not too bad. Eh? I'm making more progress than on Tuesday. I think I've been uh, pedaling a bit harder. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh, it's definitely wetter here now. Definitely uh, the rain that we've had in the last couple of days. Pointing it down. Don't really need that on. Quite light in here. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's very sketchy, now it's wet and muddy. This is very sketchy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's getting the drops. I know I need to watch out. There's a stone down here. There, there it is. <sighs> got over that. So I've been riding up in this area since 20, beginning of 2012. It was like the first place that we brought our mountain bikes to, me and my son. <sighs> right. But we're on heavy mountain bikes. Dropper posts weren't even a thing then. Uh, 26 inch wheels. And the topic of discussion was usually about hubs. Like the Hope Hub, the sound of the Hope Hub. Or whether you were gonna go for riser bars or flat bars. And there was even talk of bars that were 720 millimeters wide. There were no e-bikes, not that we knew of, in 2012.
those were the days. That's where I started from. And to us, like getting up to Glen Corrug, to ride Skyline, that uh, was like, that was before Bike Park Wales had opened its doors. So, we go up to Glen Corrug and the car park, you arrive there early as well. You, know, you get there for like eight in the morning. The car park used to be chock a block. People from all over Britain. Ooh, it's very rooty and bumpy. You can't see the route. Put my light on. Oh, <laughs> put the light on. It's like, yeah, there's roots everywhere. Okay, time for turbo. That's better. Sorry, bike. Oh, very bumpy up there. Sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Back where I started. It hasn't rained. Temperature is still pretty mild. Haven't needed to put on a wind jacket or anything. All I got on is a very thin summer DHB jersey with lots of mesh panels. I've got a very, very thin mountain bike jersey over that. Very thin. It's like a Madison one. It's all mesh. And that's it. That's all. Bare arms. So, yeah, it is, it's definitely warmer than you'd expect for sort of October the 5th or whatever it is. 